what is up guys welcome back to my channel so today I've got another tutorial for you uh, so maybe two days ago I had a, a request on what other way you could use to show the follow uh, on your stream so basically follow alert so today I'll be showing you how to do that with a program uh, there is a lot more customization uh, into it uh, but the previous way I shown uh, it was just an overall website and there was a limited um, editing type you could have and only a sound uh, so yeah I will show you a different way better way I think uh, so yeah this way requires a program so you want to head over to this website and download it. I will leave a, a link down uh, in the description so you are ready to go just download this it's only 2.3 megabytes so it's not a lot uh, after you downloaded it extracts the files with WinRAR or whatever you are using uh, you will have something like this so as you can see it's a soup alert you want to open it up and run the program will switch uh, so yeah, there's uh, some tip on bug fix, bug fixes. Uh, the first window will, you will see like this. It's uh, your name. So I will put my Twitch TV name and click OK. All right, now you will have something like this. So if you want it for, you got three different type of follow uh, of alerts you can have subscriber follower alert and donation so for today I will focus on followers so that's what we will be working on today and then when you when you decide on what you want to work on you're gonna go to settings select the side uh, possibly possibly mostly will use everyone you will, you will use it for twitch TV uh, enable service uh, if you tick the box here uh, you will not have to go into this and config configure the alerts so right now what you want to configure is follower bar and as you can see we got a bar here and then we got a bunch of settings to change in here so uh, for example if you want to change what it says here for example the name is just that it will be a person's name so we will leave that and I want to just change the bit after what it says after so for example welcome to spunky house for example and then if you if you uh, would uh, delete uh, the name box then you can click this button and it would add a name into it but with that one name on the end as well so we will delete that and then as you can see it says name welcome to spunky house we can show preview so it will just show up without any animations right now uh, so let's start maybe from the start. So show background. Mm, I don't know if that does much. It seems like it does doesn't. Alright, you can change the the size of it. Uh, so there is a lot more customization. So whoever was requesting this tutorial, uh, you can play around with this uh, and make it how you want it. You <coughs> Sorry. You can also. Mm, pick a background so for example if you got some uh, banner you made in Photoshop you can al also use it mm. uh, I want to see if the mm, always on top change color for example I want to change it completely green uh, because I remember the request was to uh, alright so round corners you can have round corners as well uh, to have it completely just a just a name so we'll try to do get this today so we've got an animation here so there is a little beep popping out so we'll have something like this so you can pick sound volume so there is no point uh, so that you don't have to uh, edit the uh, turn it down in um, Photoshop right now and uh, on Photoshop out the city to change the volume you can change it over here uh, so yeah you've got a bunch of animations right now that's about it so right now if you want to customize it in your um, in your OBS I will head over to it in a second but to mention this green box of the uh, here at the top you will have to have it always open so 
for example if you stream from your first monitor you will it will be uh, a uh, good to have two monitors so you can drag it over to the next monitor uh, leave it there and then whoever follows uh, then it will be uh, just there so right now I will head over to OBS and I will show you everything there mm. so let's move over let's move this over here so right now what you want to do is uh, let me just make a new scene for example just to, for, to, for this purpose and then add uh, window capture and you want to pick the config window is that what it is? no that's the config window I want to uh, for, no let's let's do a different one Win window capture let's do a window capture and sub region select region and that's what the region will be. So click, uh, escape or click upside over the complete. So it has been selected. And then color key. Use color key, select, and select the color. And then OK. And let's see if it's work. Preview. So we've got it over here right now. Uh, can I make it bigger? Yes, I can. Okay. But I don't want it that big. Let's make it smaller and then if I test animation it should show up so yeah there we have and as you can see he said there is a bit of a uh, green bars of the I don't know how, how I can remove the click and drag to uh, sorry guys I wasn't too prepared for this mm, let me just have a quick uh, blend what was what would the blend do let's see uh, maybe blend will do something. Yeah, so as you can see the green is slowly disappear disappearing. Let's so if I put it to full to remove the hmm. Oh sorry, I forgot. After you finish you have to click save and close and that's the way you will uh, then press start. And then now it should work. Sorry about that. Uh, return show. Yeah. And then test follower. And why didn't it? Oh, right now. And right now you have to pick the sub region. So I've messed up, messed up a bit. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so let select sub region. And I want to take width. And I want to select this. Flip it now. Come on. I want to select this mm, main alert let's let's pick it like that okay and see if it's working right now test follower so as you can see you all whoever was asking uh, you got a uh, someone welcome to spanky house so yeah obviously it's gonna go someone but by the someone it will say uh, for example uh, Mm, and a name nickname of the person that you follow your stream let's add the monitor capture uh, so you can see how it will look maybe let's capture my second monitor that would be easier which I've got Audacity open up uh, so if I press uh, preview mm, on here test follower it should show up why all oh, right so because I've got a uh, uh, this scene above to so move up and it should show up right now so test follower and as you can see it's, it came up so <coughs> there will be a lot of no um, customization you will have to do whoever requested the tutorial to uh, make it more visible uh, so I don't want what you want. I don't know what you want it to look like. So that will be up to you to whatever you want to have it as. So yeah, I think I think this user has been successful. I think so. Whoever uh, had it helpful, it would be appreciated if you could leave a like on it. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. And if you would, if you want to see any of my future videos, click subscribe button, and I will see you later on my next video. See ya.